The squad spent day seven of the Arsenal tour 2013 finding their feet in Japan. Arsene Wenger's team touched down in Nagoya the morning after their 7-1 win in Vietnam and they were soon exploring the city. They had the perfect guide in Rio, of course. The Nagoya native joined Jack Wilshire and Theo Walcott at a Nike store in the centre of town. Obviously, this is my city. I was born in Nagoya, so it's great to, to come back. Everybody waiting for Arsenal, obviously. Uh, but also, you know, I, my city as well. So, you know, I want to show uh, my praying for for supporters, so yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to playing it, yeah. A few miles away, a host of Arsenal stars were giving away their knowledge to aspiring footballers at an Emirates coaching camp. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Aichi Prefectorial Gymnasium, Laurent Koscioni and Olivier Giroud led a large group of players to the Nagoya Sumo Bashi. It is one of Japan's national sports and a cultural icon. The striker was eager to show off what he'd learned from the reigning Yokozuna. Finally, Arsene Wenger prepared for the game on Monday by meeting up with Dragan Stojkovic, a player under the Frenchman during his reign at Grampus and now coach of the Nagoya side. Their shared press conference began with a display of traditional Japanese dancing and ended with a conversation between the two friends on live television. The time between now and Monday's game will be filled with some hard but important training sessions. And we'll have a special edit from those on our next update from the Arsenal Tour 2013.